Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is an update on that plane that circled Denver. It turns out they've admitted what it is. And it also turns out that the FAA lied, which I said they were lying. They knew all along what it was. So that today's Piggy Award goes out to the FAA for lying to the public. I don't like. At any rate, here we go. Navy officials responded to comment on flight a day later, confirming that it did hang over Denver roughly for an hour in holding pattern. It's been identified less Lieutenant Leslie Hubble, who is assistant public affairs. Officer for Commander Naval Air Forces confirmed Iron 9's 99's identity as a Navy E6B Mercury created by Boeing at a cost of 141.7 million per unit. The unit's overall mission is classified, Hubble said, but he did confirm the mission planes class. The overall mission of the E6 B is command, control, and communications abilities to direct and employ strategic resources, meaning it was a nuclear bomber. In layman's terms, the planes were able to launch nuclear missiles and communicate with diverse assets, including nuclear submarines. During the Navy's website, E 6B is high tech. In large plane, each of which is commit, equipped with an airborne launch control system that can reliably launch intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs. As to what the incredible weapon was doing above the Denver skyline, Hubble said it was halted by the FAA while traveling from its forward base to California back to. Tinker Air Force Base, where the planes are serviced and housed. The plane's forwarding location is Travis Air Force Base in Northern California, which declined to admit the plane departed from the base early Wednesday morning when asked by Denver 7. Travis Air Force Base officials weren't alone enough, and they said it had no contact with the plane Wednesday despite Hubble's. Statement in the FAA told the plane to hold over Denver. Which means, like I said, the FAA is lying, so that's why they get the Piggy Award. Although the Navy said the plane was flying from its forwarding base back to home base, a high ranking official wasn't authorized to speak on the subject. So the plane was involved in a classified training mission organized by the DOD. Training mission reportedly is centered around electronic surveillance, which means they were spying on Denver. It involved several agencies that aren't likely to comment on the mission, source said. They were spying on Denver uh, residents. Source said the mission wasn't out of the ordinary despite the size, knowing the public usually isn't aware of such training missions. Yeah, we'd probably pop a cork if we were. Uh, it's not known if the mission had anything to do with Denver area mission to evaluate drone detection in the Denver International Airport. FP FAA said that we conduct work with the help of DOD, Department of Homeland Security, and more to Help learn what technologies can aid in safely detecting drone 
activities near airports. I'll break this down real quick. They lied to us. They know they they knew they were lying. Uh, basically, we've been given bull slap, and they were definitely spying on people in Denver for some reason. Who knows what reason? Anyway, today's piggy award goes out to FAA, FAA, and other officials who lied to the public about this one. At least you can tell us. You know, we know whose it was. Shame. I don't care whether it's classified or not. Shame on you people in the FAA. You are compulsive liars. I'm on a fax of Mars.